I'm sorry, not just an inconvenience, but I'm sorry for the reason we've delayed. I've delayed coming out to speak to you. I initially was going to talk about the economy, but all of you, all of you have been watching what I've been watching. At this hour, our democracy is under an unprecedented assault, unlike anything we've seen in modern times. An assault on the citadel of liberty, the capital itself. An assault on the people's representatives and the Capitol Hill police sworn to protect them. And the public servants who work at the heart of our republic. An assault on the rule of law like few times we've ever seen it. An assault on the most sacred of American undertakings the doing of the people's business. Let me be very clear. The scenes of chaos at the Capitol do not reflect a true America, do not represent who we are. What we're seeing are a small number of extremists dedicated to lawlessness. This is not dissent, it's disorder. It's chaos, it borders on sedition, and it must end now. I call on this mob to pull back and allow the work of democracy to go forward. You've heard me say before in different contexts, the words of a president matter, no matter how good or bad that president is. At their best, the words of a president can inspire. At their worst, they can incite. And therefore, I call on President Trump to go on national television now to fulfill his oath and defend the Constitution and demand an end to this siege to storm the Capitol, to smash windows, to occupy offices, the floor of the United States Senate rummaging through desks, on the Capitol, on the House of Representatives, threatening the safety of duly elected officials. It's not protest, it's insurrection. The world's watching, like so many other Americans. I am genuinely shocked and saddened that our nation, so long the beacon of light and hope for democracy, has come to such a dark moment. Through war and strife, America has endured much. And we will endure here and we will prevail again and will prevail now. The work of the moment and the work of the next four years must be the restoration of democracy, of decency, honor, respect, the rule of law, just plain, simple decency, the renewal of the politics. It's about solving problems, looking out for one another, not stoking the flames of hate and chaos. As I said, America is about honor, decency, respect, Tolerance. That's who we are. That's who we've always been. The certification of electric college, the Electoral College vote is supposed to be a sacred ritual. To affirm the purpose is to affirm the majesty of American democracy. But today's reminder, a painful one, that democracy is fragile. And to preserve it requires people of goodwill, leaders with the courage to stand up, who are devoted not to the pursuit of power, but or the personal interest pursuits of their own selfish interest at any cost, but of the common good. 
Think what our children watching television is thinking. Think what the rest of the world is looking at. For nearly two and a half centuries, we, the people, in search of a more perfect union, 